Sorer har recently came up with an update when it comes to the cap 240 threshold. And moving away from you get in, for example, limited $5 for getting the $280 mark to moving on to the threshold targets, where you can pick before the game week kicks off which threshold target you want to go for. And as we can see on the screen right here, we can see from the different scarcities which threshold target you need to win. And in, this, in today's video, I will go through statistics that actually prove that one of these are actually the best. And I will also go through my opinions and some strategies around the cap 240 threshold grinding. And yeah, as I said, uh, I want to firstly go through the statistics. And we have here Harry Trades, his Twitter. I'm using this as an example for Super Rare Cap 240. And here we can see the odds of you actually hitting the different threshold targets. We can see here for the lowest, and if we move over here again, we can see that uh, in Super Rare, which I use as an example now, but this will also uh, work the same for the other uh, scarcities. Uh, you get $60 for the lowest, and the chance of you hitting that is 60%. The middle one, 400 points, which is $320, is going to be 16%. And if we move back once again, we can see that the $1,000 mark will be 460 points, which is only 3%. And that is the chance percentage of you actually hitting it. And I thought, and now we of course use the odds, the percentage. Let's say we play cap to 40 33 times. How much money will we win then? That is what I'm going to be finding out now. And of course, the, the odds may reflect on how strong your theme is. This is just an overall example, general. This isn't like, if you have a team that is horrendous, of course, this won't be the odds. But as I said, the general odds will reflect like this. And then we just need to go to the calculator. And as I have done, uh, I mean multiply 33 by 0 0.6 because there is a 60% chance of you hitting uh, the cap to 70 now or a cap to 40 threshold and getting the lower threshold target of 270 points. So if we divide, uh, multiply that by 33, we get 19.8. So if we run that up, you will win 20 thresholds. Um, throughout 33 game weeks if you have just um, accurately followed the odds. Uh, and then we can see how much you actually earn. We can see here on Super Rare, you will get $60. So let's multiply that by 60. And that will be 1,188 euros. So if you follow or are like, uh, or if we refer to the odds, you should win $1,188 in Super Rare if you go for the lowest threshold target after playing 33 game weeks. And the only thing we need to do now is to do the same on the two different threshold targets. And now we have the other one, which is 400 points, um, and that will give 320 points. And also, it will mo if we run um, the number down, it will be five times. You will hit it five times if you play the Super Rare Division, uh, Cap to 40 Super Rare, and goes for the middle target uh, 33 times. And then we can just multiply that by uh, $320. If we go here, $320, and that will be $1,689. So if you compare these two, we can already see that going for the middle target will, in the long run, be a better idea to win the threshold. And the last one will be the highest threshold target, uh, 460 points. And here we can see that it's 0 0.99, which means if we run it up, it will be only one time we will hit it. And of course, if we uh, multiply that by 1000, we will get one, 990 dollars. So just to look through this, we can just see that the middle one is the best. And of course, this is just statistics. This isn't just my opinion. This is my opinion. This is just statistics. And um, and also keep in mind, this is sorry data. I don't know how accurate this is, but 
Of course, as I mentioned, this isn't financial advice. I'm not saying you that you consistently should go for the mid target. The thing I would recommend you to do is, of course, look at your gallery. Do you like you need to uh, talk to yourself and think? Do I actually have a possibility to hit the 460 points in Super Air? Or because this works uh, the same for um, for limited, uh, limited, rare, super Air and unique. That's the st statistic. It didn't matter that I used super Air as the example. And we can go to my gallery in limited, for example. And like, let's say now I want to make the most of it. Cap 240 will be my priority lineup this week. And then I scroll to the goalkeepers. The one standout goalkeeper is maybe Nubel. He has a low L15, and I really like that when it comes to Cap 240 goalkeepers. But we also have Sinan Bulat, 40 in L15, and a very good fixture at home. Then I, for example, take him in there. And the reason for me doing this, I'll explain it later. Just uh, follow me through this. And then I can go through some of my defenders. Let's say I think, uh, uh, let's say um, Sven Bootman. I think he will perform very well against Wolves. Let's take him in there. And then let's go for a midfielder. I think Matthias Pereira Lage against Le Havre should be an extremely good feature. So we take him in there. And then we could go big in attack and go, for example, for Josh Sargent that have been on fire recently. And then we have 64 crystals to fill out the, rema uh, the remaining spots. And then I want to go for Bruno Guimares and captaining him. When I look at this team, I think the odds of this team hitting, um, like for this instant, it's uh, for Super, so we'll just move here. I think the chances of this hitting uh, the 340 point mark is way above 16% because now I have made a priority lineup out of this. I think every single one of these player wi players will hit a score of over 55, ideally. Of course, Sinan Bulat may concede and this may don't go as, I, as I'm planning, but like I think in f this is 50-50 of this team actually hitting uh, the threshold, uh, the middle threshold, I mean. And that is something, of course, you need to do your own research on. Uh, do you want to prioritize uh, uh, the limited divisions when it com comes to Cap 240? But also looking at the calculator closely. Of course, this is just based on statistics, but $1,689 for uh, playing the super rare um, Cap 240. I think there are actually really good possibilities to next season, or of course it will be removed next season, but for the remainder of uh, this season, I mean, uh, to get a lot of money out of Cap 240. And I have seen mm, like 99% of the people talk about going for the middle or the lowest one. But let's say you have a goalkeeper with zero in L15 or a player returning from injury. Like, for some weeks ago, I had actually Casemiro with zero in L15, and he did pretty well. I can just look at my gallery for an instant and look if I have any zero in L15 that is expected to play. Um, uh, let's go through them. Um, there aren't many. No, there are probably none. Uh, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but... Like, if you have a gallery where you have those players with zero in L15, um, it could be very interesting and also another strategy I want to talk about when it comes to picking the threshold target is going on play sharper. Of course, this takes time. I need to just uh, click uh, all of this out. And this is a strategy I've talked about a lot with some of my friends that have recently started Sorer. Of course, now if you're brand new to Sorer, uh, the Cap 240 mode won't be out there for you, unfortunately. Um, but the strategy goes out for that you actually when it comes to picking, um, uh, going through play sharper, you have, uh, of course, uh, a plan for which player you want ideally to go for. When it comes to your normal cap to 40 team, let's say you want a goalkeeper, a midfielder, uh, a forward, and an extra player. Then you have a defender you need to fill in. Let's say um, you have li like 12 points left on the remaining points tab. And okay, oh, this team doesn't look strong, but it looks, but it doesn't look bad either. Like you know that feeling when okay, if I would have fitted a new defender with a very low L15, this team would have actually had possibilities of hitting the middle threshold target, which is huge. 
Uh, in limited, it's like eight dollars, which is very very nice. Uh, it's like a high tier three, I think. And then you, in my opinion, think it's a very good idea is to just go and play sharper. Scroll through, go through in every single lineup until you find a player that is over 75% or 80% that is like nailed to start or predicted to start, I mean. And then of course look at this price, if it's worth under $2, I think, or I have done or recommended it before, go out there and buy that player and fit him in the team. Of course, uh, ideally it should be a favorable matchup and you should expect him to get uh, uh, around 50 points plus. And uh, of course you need to do a little bit of research around the player. Of course this will take time and this isn't financial advice, but that is something I have been um, like suggesting to other people and trying to do with my own gallery when I played Capture 40 Limited before. And it worked out uh, surprisingly well. And that is why I gotten some uh, $5 thresholds recently before the new update changed. But I also thought that could be a very interesting idea when it comes to the new threshold system. And um, yeah, uh, in general, uh, I, I actually very, very, really, really like uh, the change sort I've made to the thresholds. It makes uh, a lot more sense and it makes it a lot more competitive. Uh, and uh, like, of course, you could be in the position where you pick the um, 240 threshold target in limited, but then your team smashes it and you, uh, for example, gets uh, over 290 points and then you could have taken, of course, the higher one, but that is how Sawyer is and um, you shouldn't be too annoyed by that. Of course, you should just be happy that you got your threshold target that you wanted to go for. Um, and yeah, in general, in tomorrow's video, I will make a different video. It will be completely different. It will be about um, Sora and how the current market is just going down and the statistics isn't looking too great. Of course, I uh, will support this game for uh, as long as possible, as long as I believe in it. And currently I do 100%, but it will be me much more crit critical that I have been uh, in recent times and it will be yeah, me talking generally about the game and the state of it and how and what Sawyer needs to do to fix it. Of course, once again, just my opinion. And uh, yeah, if you want to watch that, that would be much appreciated. It will be tomorrow's video. And also remember, I'm currently having a giveaway or I'm having a giveaway each weekend. One giveaway each week for 52 week. For 52, yeah, that's right. For, two, uh, for 52 weeks where I give away, give away one Sawyer card each week. Uh, and the only thing you need to do is uh, subscribe and like every single video from Monday to Friday and comment your sorry username on Friday's video. I think I got that right. Uh, I'll do it throughout 2024 just for motivation for me to upload one video each day. That we have currently been doing, which is just fantastic. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.